All right, guys, so let me just share with you something that I have been working on, trying to perfect it far as the Google Apps Script goes. And the reason why I have created this video is because I was so frustrated with the way that native Google Apps Script work in terms of adding data from a point A to point B. So for example, let's say if I have this client side, if you will, and then over here, I have the server side. And if I wanna go ahead, take this information by clicking on this particular button. And <laughs> if you ever experience or have done this using the native Google app script code, you know how frustrating it is and how annoying it, it is the way, the way that it works in a native world. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you do that very quickly, easily, with just literally two lines of code rather than writing a infinity for loops that will format it correctly from the client side. And when you go to put it in here, then you gotta write another four loops to put it in here in the exact same way. So let me just show you how it works. So let's say hypothetically I have this particular column with these two columns, I have this data. I wanna add it in here by simply clicking on this button. So what I can do is I'm gonna click over here and then it's gonna go run the script on the client side. When it's done, it's gonna tell you it's finished. Then we hop on over here and then it's gonna show up here. So let me just do it one more time, just so you see it actually does. Let it run, run, finish. Now we go over here. So now we have same amount of rows with over here, duplicate it because we didn't change anything, right? So so let me show you how it works and don't worry, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you to download this particular code so you could incorporate it into your Google App Script projects. So this is what works. So I'm gonna close this out, I'll start again. So on my client side, which I call it the user entry, click on the, I think under extensions, the reason why I say I think because they always change around, sometimes put it here and then somewhere else, but nonetheless, you go under extension at the time of the recording, disclaimer, this is where it's gonna be. And app scripts, and then in here, it's gonna load up and I'll show you and you'll see how amazing this is. So I'll just zoom it in so it makes it a little bigger. Uh, that's a little too much for me, so I'm gonna go over here. So we'll start from the beginning. So we have a function called user entries. The very first line, if you are coming from the PHP world or even Node.js for that matter, it works like in both those platforms, uh, PHP as well as Node.js. You create a line of code which connects it into your so-called database. In this case, it will be the Google Sheets. So what I'm saying is with this line of code and don't worry, this something that I created for myself so I can include it into my projects which will help me speed up, build them, execute them, and deliver it to my clients. So I built this JavaScript class, which I'm gonna let you have it, which will be over here. So basically what you do is click over here and I got all these amazing functions and all that stuff that you can use it, which will allow you to use it just like if you're using my SQL statements in PHP. So to way that works is you wanna Initiate it by calling this, and then you wanna connect to it, and this connection function, if you're using it into the Google Sheet, so for example, this user entry one, you don't need to put any parameter in here. But if you're connecting to a different sheet, you're just gonna include the sheet ID. So in this case, it will be right after D, this big long off string, and that's it. You put it in here and then whatever sheet that you wanna to connect to, so in this case, the user entry one is just sheet one and the range that you want to connect to or use. So in this case, I'm just saying from column A, row number one, all the way until you have whatever number of rows in column B. And you could change this to A, Z, A, O, whatever the range that you have, makes it so simple. This is for your user entry and then I servers, and here, same thing, minus the, or plus, the connection 
Google ID, same concept. And then haha, this is the part that you're gonna love because I love it when I, when I use it. This helps me build my projects like 10 times faster as compared to when I was doing it the old fashioned way using the native app script functions that they give you. So that's that. So I'm gonna say connect, which is the data entry one. And then I'm using my straight up Google, not the functions, but SQL statements. So I'm just saying select because this is connected to the sheet, which will be the like the form part. So I don't need to include from. I'm simply gonna say select name, email. It's that simple. So whatever column that you wanna select. So for example, in this case, my columns are name, email. So the first row will always be the column names. Just like if you are creating a my SQL tables and you know you got your columns, then you got rows. It works just like that and that's it. So you select these two and then I'm gonna say, hey, if those columns have any value, for example, if there are any rows underneath it, minus the first one, so row number one, two, three, so on and so forth, then it's gonna go ahead. If it's less than that, then it's gonna say, hey, please add a particular row. So just to show you, I will go ahead and delete these out. And then I'll try to run it. It's gonna run and it's gonna say, hey, please add a entry because there's nothing in there. So that's a proper way of uh, validating it to say, so there is something there. But if I add it, as you saw before, it automatically goes in and add it to the server. So it's really that simple. Literally in a matter of 24 lines of code of a function, you have done all of your CRUD operations, which would be read, I mean, create, read, add, and delete. So that's that. So this will be the first one, validation one. So if there is a more than one row, then it's gonna go to server, which is this connection, and use this insert, and then whatever row that you have, which I'm getting it from here, the amount of rows, so you have one row, you have 10 rows, you have 1,000 rows, so it doesn't really matter, it will accept it. And then it's just gonna go ahead and insert it. And I have added in here where I was deleting it, and for the purpose of this video, I have commented that out. So let's just see that in action one more time. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add another email here, call it code with mark at gmail.com. And I'll put that here as well as here. Uh, let me go ahead and put the name as code with mark, boom. And then over here, I'm expecting the three rows to be go at the bottom. And it's always going to be adding it underneath it. And <laughs> if you have used Google Apps Script, using it just this way, you, you are probably gonna be like, holy cow, this is so much easier because you know the pain of using a native way as I have experienced it. So I have created this for you. And when you start using it, this is gonna help you speed up your Google Apps Script projects about 100 times faster. Like literally it's gonna be 100X. Because before that, like I said, I was using it. It will take me a long period of time. And with this, what it would take me a month, I could do it in a week, the whole project. It's literally that particular faster. So, so let's go ahead and run this. And I'm gonna click on add. It's gonna run it. And then over here, it literally just added it. And the project files that you're gonna download it is gonna have a la particular documentation that will show you all of different ways. I personally like using my SQL statements because I come from a PHP and MySQL world, but in the library, I also include what's called a chainable function. If you like to use that, you can go ahead and use that as well. So include this in your project, 
you're going to see the amount of time that you are going to save that you can go ahead and learn other uh, videos for mine on a YouTube channel that I already have. So go ahead, click subscribe to it, because if you don't, you're never going to be hearing from me ever again. And if you want to download this particular project files, the link will be in the description below. Happy coding.